Welcome to Boots Buy. My name's William. Today, we're talking about the Thursday Cavalier. We're gonna discuss the leather quality, sole quality, fit and sizing, durability, and ultimately, whether or not this boot is right for you. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, we are talking about the Thursday Cavalier, and this is actually the second Chelsea boot from Thursday Boots. Their original Chelsea boot that they released when they launched is called the Duke, and that is a little bit more bulbous, a little more boxy, not too much, it's still a very sleek Chelsea boot. It also has a leather churn around the elastic and a nylon pull tab at the back. Now, when I was picking up a pair of Chelsea boots from Thursday, I was pretty torn between the Duke and the Cavalier. You're looking between two Chelsea boots, the same brand, it's like, you know, which one's really better. But ultimately I went with the Cavalier because it is a little slimmer, a little sleeker, and it has this leather sole. I'll talk more about the leather sole later. That puts it into the dress Chelsea boot category. Uh, so I think that's a little more versatile and you can pair this with suits, you can pair this with jeans, chinos, anything like that. Whereas the Duke, it can't go to that, that higher level uh, where you're pairing it with suits. So ultimately went with the Cavalier. To start off, let's talk about the style. So I have the Cavalier in shadow gray, uh, weather safe suede and that does have a lot of burnishing on the toe and the heel i really like that dynamic look but the leather doesn't have that very plush uh you know suede feel that you get with some other boots but it is very dynamic it does look unique and that is something that i haven't seen on too many other chelsea boots the thursday cavalier is actually built on the same last as thursday's dress shoes so it's very narrow uh, very low profile and it's pretty slender as well I think that really does put it in the category uh, that where it can it can fit in with a suit, something like that. Uh, in that dressier category, you want something very low profile, slim, slender, sleek, that whole thing, all the S words, that's what you want. What's actually kind of surprising is that even with a boot this narrow, it does still feature a 360 degree Goodyear welt. So they didn't do the 270 degree, this is all the way around. So that actually makes it very, very weather resistant. Uh, and for a dress, a pair of dress boots, you know, a lot of times you see a Blake stitch, which does great because they're resolvable. But in this case with the 360 degree Goodyear welt, you're still getting all that water resistance while keeping the ease of a, uh, you know, the ease of resoling it if you ever need to. Last thing to note is that the Cavalier does have an offset opening here where the instep, uh, this part of the shaft is about an inch higher than the back. I really think that's super cool. I believe they're doing that now on the Duke as well, whereas originally the Duke was just kind of flat, so it didn't have this sort of slanted opening. Uh, and then there is no pull tab. So if you love pull tabs on your Chelsea boots, uh, this you know it's not like this ripped off, there was no pull tab, and that helps your pants not get caught on the back, which is something that has always bugged me. But honestly, I'm not sure, I'm still not sure if I like the lack of pull tab or not. It doesn't get caught on my pants, but then also it's a little bit harder to you know, actually put on, so pros and cons. Moving on to the leather quality. As I said, this is Thursday's weather safe suede, and uh, this has a good deal of wax on it. So, and you can especially tell on the toe and the heel, it has that extra burnishing, but this does a really good job at repelling water. So it's not fully waterproof. I wouldn't stand in the puddle for hours and hours, but if you get caught out in rainstorm, this is gonna do great. It's gonna keep your feet dry. Uh, so I really appreciate that. I actually had on this exact pair of boots, uh, I had my dog came up and started scratching at it. I got really worried because I hadn't taken photos. I hadn't done a video and I was like, oh man, like did he just like ruin the look of his boots before I got to do any of this stuff? Uh, so I took a suede brush, brushed it out and you cannot even tell at all that there was any sort of dogs messing with these shoes. So in terms of durability or in terms of like real life, making these shoes look good on the fly, like they performed really well that leather. I'm surprised it bounced back because my dog went to town on this. And uh, that was a bit, that was a scary moment, I'll tell you that. Thursday also offers three other suede options. They're all that weather safe suede. Uh, and then in addition to that, they have three more standard leathers. The biggest thing I noticed about the Cavalier is that this part of the instep can start to sag really, really quickly. So do make sure that you get a pair of cedar shoe trees and keep them in there at all times when you're not wearing it because uh, yeah, I threw these in my gym bag. I wore them on a pretty hot day and it started to kind of get a little deflated around here. So I would say um, on most boots, you should be using cedar shoe trees. But if you're gonna get these, like you, on these ones, you absolutely need a pair of cedar shoe trees. If you wanna keep that instep looking sleek, if you don't want these boots to start looking deflated. Um, you know, with Chelsea boots, 
I think it's it's a it's a must to have shoe trees because they can start to deform really really quickly, especially with summer on the way. You wear that you wear these out on a hot day and they'll get deformed pretty quick. Moving on to the sole, the Thursday Cavalier has a leather sole with rubber TPU studs. Now the studs help a lot with grip, especially when it is wet outside, but the leather sole also brings it into that dressy category and kind of elevates it a little bit. Now there is a rubber top lift right here. So the heel is mainly stacked leather uh, and that is painted. And then there is a half centimeter rubber top lift. Looking at the insole, it has a leather footbed, a Dura EVA comfort strip, and then a cork midsole. Now, for a lot of the Thursday reviews that I've done in the past, I've seen in the comments, guys are asking, does it have the Thursday drop? I didn't actually know what that was. I had to look it up. I was looking through Reddit and basically like, there's a certain amount of time after like the boot seems to deflate. Again, I've never experienced that but I believe it was something that was happening years ago when they were using more synthetic uh, uh, synthetic midsole, using cork throughout all their boots now. That's, that's what Thursday does. Uh, that's just gonna break in more slowly. So I believe if there ever was a Thursday drop, which I've never experienced myself, uh, and I've owned, this is now my fifth pair of Thursday boots. But if that was ever a problem, that seems to be taken care of now with the cork midsole. As for fit and sizing, I was a bit curious. I was wondering, I knew the Cavalier is based on Thursday's dress shoe last. So I was wondering, you know, I'm a size 10 and a half in sneakers. So I was considering getting a size 10 and a half, but I just went with what Thursday's uh, recommendation was, ordered a half size down anyway. I'm happy I did that. They fit a bit narrow right at the beginning, but I'd say after five miles of walking, they did stretch out just a little bit, not too much, not that you'd ever notice in the shape, but the leather kind of relaxed a little bit, relaxed around my instep and widened out just a touch so that they felt much more comfortable. So I would definitely stick with Thursday's recommendation to go a half size smaller than you would with your sneakers. Looking at the break-in period, not really much of one to speak of. Uh, Thursday boots are super comfortable right out of the box. As I said, because it's a more narrow boot, there was about five miles of kind of stretching the leather out, but that didn't even cause any blisters. It was more just like a very, very, very light discomfort. And after five miles, like it's, it basically just feels like a tennis shoe. Uh, so it's back to being super comfortable. Just takes a little bit of time to stretch out that leather, help it relax. Uh, but that again is like halfway through, that's like a day, like one day, minor discomfort. And then after that, you're just off to the races. Here's my final verdict on the Thursday Cavalier. What I like about this boot is that it has that slim, sleek silhouette, and that is super versatile. I think it's even more versatile than the Thursday Duke. Uh, the reason why I say so is because it looks great with jeans, it looks great with chinos, but then it can also go up to that next level if you wanted to pair it with a suit. I wouldn't do that with the shadow gray suede because that burnishing, it's not really, I wouldn't call that like classy, um, but if you use one of the, the, you know, the black sleek leathers, uh, the brown leather, anything like that where it's a, a standard leather option, that would definitely pair with a suit. So I do think the Cavalier is the most versatile Chelsea boot that Thursday offers. I also really like that this style is typically Blake stitched, but with Thursday, you're getting that 360 degree Goodyear welt. So it also boosts that sort of practicality, that weather resistance, uh, and the fact that you can resole it, those are all huge bonuses for me for a boot that really kind of fits more into that dress category for my use. I love that Thursday has such a huge variety of sizes. So whether you're size six or size 15, you can find the perfect fit for you. What I don't like about the Thursday Cavalier, uh, number one, I'm still torn on whether or not I like the lack of a pull tab. I really enjoy the fact that they don't catch up my pants, but it, I, I kind of do miss it. So I'm not sure, I'm 50-50 I'm on that one. I'm on the fence. If you have any thoughts on Chelsea Boots pull tabs, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you can make an argument and sway me. And the second thing I don't like about the Thursday Cavalier, this might only apply to the suede because uh, I didn't try the conventional leathers, but you absolutely need a pair of cedar shoe trees with this because I did notice that this part, it started to deform a little bit on the first couple wears. So it, Took care of itself, got a pair of cedar shoe trees, no problem. I think it's all back in shape, looking good, looking sleek. But if you didn't have one and if you weren't willing to invest in a pair of cedar shoe trees, I think these would start to lose that, that elegant look that they have. I think they'd start to lose that pretty quickly. So for under $200, the Thursday Cavalier is an excellent pickup. If you're looking between the Duke and the Cavalier, my personal favorite is the Cavalier, and that's because it can go a little more dressy, so I think it's just a bit more versatile. 
but you can't go wrong with either one. They're basically the same price. The things that Duke is maybe like $10 more expensive. Uh, and on the Duke, you get the pull tab and then you get the leather lining around the, um, the, the elastic gore. The only thing is you gotta make sure you get a pair of cedar shoe trees. That is an absolute must with these boots. Otherwise, the Cavalier, it's another W in Thursday's books. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button down below. Also, give me a thumbs up. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about Chelsea boot pull tabs down in the comments below. I'm, I'm actually really curious now. I'm like, do you guys like that? Does anybody notice? Would you even notice? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, put your best boot forward.